you show West Indies um, against India five match T20 series. Um, it was a remarkable victory yesterday from the West Indies, the first time since 2017 the West Indies were able to win a T20 series against India. It was a five-match T20 series that spread across Trinidad, spread across Guyana and ended in Florida and ended with the West Indies winning. Um, the series 3-2. We have seen remarkable performance from um, Ramario Shepard, Brandon King, Nicholas Puran, Jason Older, Akilo Sane, and the captain Rodman Powell. And that goes to show that um, cricket is a team sport. person um, is supposed to uh, be able to perform at their best for the team to be able to win it takes more than that. we are happy that these guys put up their hands and they come up um very good we have seen the remarkable performance of um romario shepherd because if you look on last year Romario Shepard was, um, you know, Captain Nicholas Puran leading the team and asking to bowl some of the dead overs and we lost the ODI series against Bangladesh because of that. We lost the series against India because of that. But when you look know how improved he is it just goes to show that um the west indies cricket team and these players that we are having these days are interested in improving and in performing to the best of their ability and we just want to um give kudos to um romario shepherd for performing and doing his best in defending um, runs in the dead overs. The 17th and the 20th over that he bowled was absolutely remarkable um, bowling from him. He has won us um, this T20 series single-handedly. He has performed above par. He has um, taken wickets, he has bowled economical in most of the games and it just goes to show the effect that head coach Darren Sammy and his team is having on the West Indies players and how these players are starting to benefit from the new philosophy and the new head coach in Darren Sammy. The West Indies team um, and Darren Sammy. Darren Sammy would have came out the other day and um, asked for patience and state that they are undergoing now a cultural change um, regarding fitness, regarding training, regarding just the whole um, demeanor and character of the players and uh, he has met with the president dr kishwar shallow with the ceo johnny greaves so with the new um director of cricket miles bascom and they have discussed a way forward also was in that meeting was test head coach andre coley and they have devised a plan um, in that committee to take the team forward in terms of fitness and um, when you look back at that catch yesterday that um, that ball that was going for six and um, the captain Rodman Powell jump and held it with one of his hands and throw it back into the um, of play 
um, if he had been fitter, then I believe he could have taken that catch and India would have scored a lot more, uh, would have scored a lot less runs than they have gotten yesterday. So I think Darren Sam is saying that he is going to emphasize now on fitness with his players is a, a step in the right direction because our players need to be fitter. And when you look at Sherman Etmeyer um, in the 60 odd runs that he made um, in the match on Saturday, and you can see he, it was a workman like half century that he got. If he was fitter, um, I've gotten a lot more runs than that. So fitness is a very integral part of sports and especially in cricket that demands a lot from your body. So I think Darren Sami is saying the right things and is making some very good move in the regards of um, taking the team forward, emphasizing on the players being fit and ready, much ready. Um, uh, when I look at Sherman at Maya though, I would not um, say too much about him because he was out of international cricket for a while and um, he's coming in back and you can see that he's hungry for runs. You can see that he really wants to score runs. He really wants to um, get, up, get in front and score some runs for his team. But being away from the team and being away from the international scene for a while will take a bit of time for him really to get back in the groove of things and to start scoring and scoring heavily for the West Indies team. But it is very good that he's there, we hope, for the upcoming series against um, England in December. We hope that he will be a part of the team for the ODI series and also for the T20 series against England in December because we continuing to be a part of the team, we can only see our team going further and further. So um, that is Ramaria Shepherd and also Sherman Etmeyer. The future is bright for Shepherd and the future is looking very good. It was a workman like half century for um, Sherman Etmeyer and we wish him all the best. We can just certainly hope and pray that he will perform admirably good in the upcoming CPL and also very good um, to be able to be picked for the upcoming series against England in the Caribbean this December. We look at Nicholas Puran and his awesome, wonderful farm, rich vein of farm that Nicholas Puran is able to um, get into. We have seen that he would have taken a break from the ODI game and he was in the United States in the MCL, Major League Cricket Plane, and he light up the MCL, especially in the final where he got a brilliant 100. So he came in this T20 series in a rich vein of farm and we have seen where it helps us to um, win this series. So he, he had put in a lot of work. We have seen in Zimbabwe during the World Cup qualifiers where he got 200 there. So he has put in a lot of work and that has enabled him and enabled our team to be winning at this moment. So that's very good from Nicholas Poor and the farmer West Indies captain. He is now in the best farmers of his life, to be precise, and he has worked very hard. And we here are certainly happy for Nicholas Poor and, and his farm. And we have seen the awesome partnership 
between him and Brandon King yesterday that single-handedly win us that game. What a brilliant stitch together, well put together chase, and it has gotten us um, victory. And Nicholas Puran, um, rich vein of farm, has made the West Indies team a better team than it is today. So we're happy for Nicholas Puran and we just wish him the best and we hope that he will continue to score runs for the West Indies and we will continue to benefit from his expertise as one of the better batters here in the region. When you look at the out of farm Johnson Charles, you're just asking the question now, um, why Johnson Charles is in the team and uh, the selfish um, answer would be because of Darren Sammy. But I would not write off Johnson Charles just yet. Let's watch him in the upcoming CPL and to see what he, he can offer. If he failed in the upcoming CPL, then um, for the upcoming series against England, I don't think he will be picked for that series, certainly. But let's watch and see in the upcoming CPL because he had good returns in the last T20 series that we played against South Africa in South Africa where we win 2-1. He had very good returns in that series. So let's not write off the out of farm Johnson Charles yet. Let's give him this CPL and to see what he can offer and then we can make a better judgment of him um, and if he should be picked in the upcoming T20 series against England here in the Caribbean. But his return in this five match series against um, India was very poor. He looked out of form, out of shape. Um, he can't even stop a ball. I mean, he gave up a lot of runs in the field. He, he did not bat in his natural self, not as aggressive, not as, he's not timing the ball in the manner and in the way we usually see him able to time the ball. And it's a major concern for the coaching staff. But um, as we say before, we will give Jansen Charles um, a chance to perform in the upcoming CPL and then we will say whether he is worthy of a place in that T20 squad in the upcoming series against England. When you look at Kyle Mears, is uh, another concern as well. Kyle Mears doesn't take his time. He, is, he got the license to go out and be very aggressive and yet he's, he, he has not shown any maturity. Kyle Mears has been in the West Indies team um, for some time now. He's the vice captain and he is reckless more or less. Um, he's opening the button. He doesn't give himself any chance to get in. He wants to hit ball from ball one. He doesn't take a lot of singles. He doesn't run a lot. He doesn't use his head within the game a lot. And it's it's utter waste and reckless from Kyle Mears. And um, it just goes to show that when players get um, leadership role, it either makes them better or it makes them worse. And we are calling on the powers be to rein in Kyle Mears, to say to him, um, take your time. When Mears just came in the team, he was a force to reckon with because you can see his hunger and um, the potential that he has. And um, during the last IPL, he performed admirably well when he was asked to open the batting because of um, question the cut did not were not able to reach India 
in time he was asked to open the batting and he made that position his own during that um, time in India but since he came back to the West Indies team he has been performing oh he has been performing very bad he's out of form out of shape out of sad and um, he allow a lot of runs to be given even yesterday and Saturday and from a West Indian vice captain perspective that's very poor from Johnson Charles rather from Kyle Mears and we just hope that um, he will perform very well in the upcoming CPL and then um, he will perform a lot better against England in the upcoming T20 series in the Caribbean in December. When you look at Azari Joseph, um, the guy is playing too many games. He's playing over 50 at competitive game in the last three months. Um, for a young man like that to be playing so many games, you just ask, have to ask the question, is Azar Joseph being relied on too much? Are we burning him out? The younger um, assassin that we have, um, are we putting too many pressures on him? Are we burning him out too much? And the, the answer to that question is yes. You are seeing that his effectiveness is being worn out. You are seeing that he is not picking wickets at regular intervals again because he's tired, he's playing too much games. So I hope that the West Indies management and the powers that be will ask Azar Joseph to take some rest and to recuperate and to come back fresh again because we will need him for that, that ODI series against England and also for the T20 series. The CPLs are coming up. We hope that for the few games that he will be having in the CPL that is coming up, that he will get some rest in between those games and also he will get a, a good month off or two to three months off after the CPL so he can come back fresh for the series against England. But just his inclusion in this five match series, despite not being at his best, he would have, um, you know, bowled admirable. He had bowled very well. You can see that he's well-rounded, he's compact, but just for playing too many games, he's losing some of his effectiveness and um, we just hope that um, Azari Joseph will get some rest and can come back um, in December to bowl the West Indies to victory in the ODI series against the ranked number one England team and also be able to come back and play the T20 and also give the West Indies yet again another victory in T20s. Um, to continue to brighten the face of the Caribbean people. And so we do wish Azari Joseph all the very best and we do hope that um, he will get some good rest and come back to um, win some games in the upcoming series against England. When you got Brandon King, he has not scored consistently but is a staple in the opening position in ODI and in T20 during this series and this visit of England. Uh, he has anchored our uh, innings. Um, you know, he, you can see yesterday he moves his feet and he came down, he meet the spinners halfway down the pitch and he bamboozled them, he took the fight to them. And um, that's very, very good from Brandon King. He has, he has shown composure. He has shown now that he belongs at the international stage and he's allowing our team to benefit 
from his patience and his dogginess um, in the team. And you, you just know that once Brandon King gets past the first stage, he's going to stock in. And look at how we anchor the chase yesterday. Brilliant 85 from Brandon King, Majestic King. Um, some people on social media are calling him because of the brilliance that he has shown in this series. And if you look and see, people are calling for Brandon King to be dropped. But Brandon King form and average is a lot better than Kyle's. Kyle Mears over this series against India, this five match series against India. So um, it, it's very wonderful from Brandon King and uh, we can only hope and we can only pray that Brandon King will continue to, um, you know, work on his game, improve his strike rate, improve his average, his running between the wicket, his um, fitness, we can only hope that he will improve those and come back fresh against um, England in December. He's also the new appointed captain for the Jamaica Talawas, so he will have a lot of um, games and work to do in the upcoming CPL. And we do wish him a lot of runs and we do wish him all very best and another championship for the Talawas in the upcoming um, CPL. But for the West Indies, Brandon King looks right at home now. Looks like he knows what he's doing. Looks as if his head is on his body. And um, we say to Brandon King, may long live the King. Brandon King, he had played wonderfully. He had played well and it just goes to show that um, our team and when our players um, pay attention to detail, they will benefit. So it's another bright spark for the West Indies in the five-match series. Brandon King coming chumps up and playing a beautiful hand against uh, India yesterday, anchoring the West Indies to a 3-2 um favorable win for the West Indies in Fort Lauderdale yesterday. So kudos to Brandon King. We here at the Development Academy is very, very happy for him. When you look at um Rust and Chase, it just goes to, to ask the question, why did the West Indies selectors pick Rust and Chase and not um and not the uh, Muti, Godish Muti or Kevin Sinclair. Um, Rustin Chase is not penetrating, he's not taking wickets at regular interval, he's not performing in the manner and in the way that we expect him to perform. But the news was that um, the West Indies is trying out Brandon King, is trying out Rustin Chase, but trying out Rustin Chase of the team. And if you could see, he was a bit economical, but he gave away a lot of runs just the same. And he has just one or two wickets in this entire five month series to show um for his, re his return in the series and that's very poor so we hope that um rust and chase will go away now and work on his game work on his bowling work on his batting work on his um you know how he moves in the whole field his fitness and his whole demeanor as a player, especially his bowling, he needs to go away and work on that and come back um, good for the West Indies. And we hope that he will perform good in the upcoming CPL. So if they pick him for the series against England, it will be a justifiable selection. 
but um, it's arguable at the moment. Why did they pick Rust and Chase? And Rust and Chase has, has done nothing to repay the faith that the selector sort of um, placed in him. So that's the only negative um, during this series. E and um, Johnson Charles out of 10, we will give them only two for this series because they have performed way below par, way below expectation. They were more a liability to the West Indies cricket team than anything else. And we just hope that E and Johnson Charles, Rastan Chase and Johnson Charles will go back and they will go to the giant board and come back in the CPL and perform to the best of their ability. But during this five match series against India, they have performed rather poor. When you look at Akil Hussain, continued improvement from Akil Hussain. Um, he was the sole spinner throughout the five match T20 series. And every time he came on and bowled, he was threatening to the Indians. He's economical, he's wicked taking. He's our best spinner right now in the region. They, they really the incumbent in the West Indies cricket team. We're happy for him and he has gone away he has played the MCL in the United States where he was very good as well. He came into this five match series and he bowled India in the right areas. He got wickets, he got runs, he bowled um, opening the bowling in the power play, he bowled in the middle and he bowled closer to the end. And each time he bowled, he, he 